Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Rock. I am Russell, <laughs> and this is Raspberry Rock. Oh, it's the day after hunting season has ended. I didn't get a buck this year. Well, there's still time actually if I want to do, uh, do some black powder, some muzzle loader uh, hunting, which is in December. I'd have to get a muzzle loader first, but anyway, this is the first time I've had the dogs out in this direction, which is first trail cam over here and then the second trail cam way over there. Because uh, I didn't want to scare any deer away with dog smells. Uh, and this is the first time in two weeks I've actually had them out. Wow, well, except for one little time. So they've been, you know, because of the hunting season, I don't want them out here with, if there's hunters around. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they're happy to get out and get some exercise. And what are you eating? Oh, is that duck poop? You're eating duck poop. Look how high the uh, the dam is up here. That's like two feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going this way. The way beaver dams work is they're never 100% contained, right? Water always seep, seeps out somewhere. So where does it go? Into another beaver dam or another beaver pond. And this is, the beavers have tried to, they've dammed up down there, but it hasn't really become much of a pond. But that just goes into the next pond and then into the next pond and into the next pond. This is actually a top level pond. There are no beaver ponds that drain into this one. Bit of trivia for you there. The ground has, uh... ah, I'm not quite frozen. It was chilly overnight, which is why you see the ice on the water. I was like minus five when I got up. Uh, it's almost time to empty the tote, but more importantly, I'm hoping to get my new mini excavator this week uh, and bring it in and dig my well before the ground freezes too much. Isn't that beautiful? You seeing this? Oh, they're so happy.
funny story. I noticed at some point uh, a buildup of grass and brush here on the on the porch. And City Girl was here at the time, so I thought, well, she must be doing something. Why is she doing that? Uh, but I forgot to ask her, and she went back to the city. And time went on, and I noticed the pile of grass was building higher and higher. I'm like, look at this. I thought, what is going on here? And then I realized what was happening is a bird was trying to make a nest up here with it on this elk antler somehow. And it couldn't do it, and the grass kept falling, and it kept trying over and over again. There's gonna be like 10 nests worth of stuff here now. Like you'd think at some point it'd be like, this ain't working. And at one point, I actually saw this happen. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I saw this happen in real time. I just happened to be looking at this window when the bird came along with the bird came along with some grass and mud in its beak, hit the window like birds do. And this has been stuck here ever since. A little bit of grass and mud. Uh, I just knocked it off. <laughs> that was months ago. <laughs> and there, you don't know how often I've looked at that spot on the window and thought, ah, what is that? <laughs> Where'd you go, Russell? or do porches and decks become a gathering place for stuff? So I was just puttering around the cabin, doing chores and stuff. And I looked out of the pond, and it occurred to me it might be time to play a game we love to play. Ice something. 
I, I forget what I call it. <laughs> uh, I ran my Starlink down here last Friday for the live stream to see if it would improve quality. It didn't really. Let's see if the dock will support us out to the end. Bit of a treacherous trip down here. So far so good. It's my motto. So far so good. I haven't been out here in a while. Okay. <sighs> Bit scary. A little scary. Okay, here we go. something <laughs> all right we need something to break the ice <laughs> uh, oh a rock wow ah. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, here we go. I think that's a new world record right there. Did you see that? <laughs> Way up on that, can we? It's cold. Oh, it's cold. There we go. Whoop, oh, oh, come back to me. Okay, going for the new world record. Holy crap. I think we broke two records there, Willow. I think we did. All right. We might get right across this time. Here we go. That's going a long way. That broke into three pieces. Okay, one more time. And Okay, you ready? Three pieces. <laughs> okay, second last one. Really gonna go for it this time. One. <laughs> okay, last one. Here we go. One, two. I 
think we broke every record there is for uh, whatever we call on this. I forget. Willow's got that look like, I think I could walk on that. But she's actually, I think, learned her lesson about walking on ice. I think. Right, Willow? <laughs> she wants to. Well, the uh, ice skipping Olympics are over. I'm going to declare myself the winner. Uh, taking the podium spots in first, second, and third. Uh, yep. It was good stuff. So, a uh, near perfect day as far as solar is concerned. Like sunny all day long, uh, nice and cold. The panels are more efficient than in the cold. I see a few wisps of haze, a few forest trails right now, but we're only making like 50 watts, so that's not really gonna matter much. Um, we made 7.3 kilowatt hours today. 7.3 kilowatt hours. I've been doing this a lot lately. If I take 7 point, uh, 7, 7,300 watts and divide by, 0.45 um, then we'll see what I would have made if I had the new panels on the roof and it's over 16.2 kilowatt hours <laughs> my whole battery bank is only 20 kilowatt hours to think that I could make you know 16.2 out of 20 in one day in November is just phenomenal now, don't get me wrong 7300 7, watts is watt hours is good but 16.2 Wonder bar. Anyway, wonderful day. Got lots done. I mean, it's just chores. I really wanted to get out on the trail and get the chainsaw going because the the Mini X will be coming in any day now, and uh, there's some trees that need to be taken down. You know, those ones that are really low. Um, there's going to be some other problems too. Like when I'm on the ATV, uh, it's fairly low. Everything's fairly low, um, and we can go over like this quite a bit along the trail. Uh, but if there's things that are high up. They go way over back and forth as the ATV goes, right? So that Mini X has got a canopy over top. It's got roll bars and a canopy. So as it kind of goes around the corners like this, it's going to hit trees, right? Uh, and I'm not really sure what exactly we do about that yet. If we have to take down a tree or if we have to somehow balance the thing as we go by these trees. I don't know. Anyway, just waiting for uh, Ray to call. So we can uh, schedule something. It's supposed to be picked up by Friday. Uh, so we'll see. I hunted from the deck uh, quite a bit. Well, from inside the cabin, actually, just inside the door there, quite a bit uh, in the last week. Just hunting, and, you know, I'm watching across the pond where that salt block is set up. And my trail cam is right across there. And I went to check the trail cam for the first time. Uh, that trail cam specifically for the first time in a month, month and a half. And this is the only thing I saw. Yep, that's a turkey. <laughs> A turkey. I never see turkey. I've only once in seven years seen a, in any turkey around here. There was a group of them and they flew over the pond and landed over there. I didn't know turkeys could fly. <laughs> yeah. These ones 
again. Wait. Wasn't that our WKRP episode? Hmm. Alright, well it's time to go in and think about dinner. It's, it's only 4 o'clock. Just noticed that this tank has a gauge on it. See that? I don't think I've ever seen one before with a gauge on it. Dogs are definitely not coming with me. Not in this. And it's nice and warm in the cabin right now. I've had a fire going for a couple of hours now. Quickly had to stop and put this thing on. Luckily, I keep it in the back in the cargo box. <sighs> now I remember what that weather warning was for <laughs> in the weather report. <sighs> ah, come on, camera. Anyway, I would have stayed home today, but I got this uh, dental cleaning appointment. I already put it off once because I was sick. And if I put it off again, it'll be like two months. That's what it was last time, it was two months. And I need to have my teeth cleaned, right? Right? Ah, come on. I was all happy I had a new bin. Uh, this one's broken. <sighs> Son of a golly. Who would have thought? That's gonna roll all over the morning. Freezing rain, that's that's really bad. Hopefully I'll be okay, but like this is the vehicle I'm talking about. This vehicle can't handle it. So it turns out I don't have an appointment today. 
trying to figure out how this happened, actually. I had an appointment way back in October. It was something like the 12th. It was a Tuesday. I'm not sure if that was the 12th or the 13th, maybe. I don't know. It was on a Tuesday, and the Monday I was sick. And I knew I wasn't going to be any better on the Tuesday. So I called and left a message because they weren't open on the Monday. It was like thanks Canadian Thanksgiving. So, so I called the Monday, left a message. And then Tuesday... Oh, it was on the 10th. So it's right here. So Tuesday on the 10th, I get a text message. They like doing text messages, which is fun. I have rebooked your appointment to Tuesday, November the 21st at 3 p.m. That's today. That's now. Uh, so I came in, and she said, oh, you don't have an appointment now. And I said, well, well the discussion went back and forth because I thought I'd called and we talked, and I guess we didn't talk because I'd left a message. I forgot that. But she says, I texted you, but you didn't respond, so I didn't book it. And I said, I, I showed her my phone, and it says, I have rebooked your appointment to Tuesday, November 21st at 3 p.m. That doesn't call for a response, does it? It says, I have rebooked your appointment. Great. But I, sh I think she should have said, please confirm, or you don't get the time, or something. Anyway, she put me on a waiting list, because if I just wanted to book a regular cleaning appointment, they're booking in April now. It's November. <laughs> yeah, put me on a waiting list. And they have, I, they have cancellations all the time, so I'll get in the next couple of days, or the next week or so. And here I am in town. There's no way I would have come to town today if... Uh, if I didn't have an appointment, but here I am. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Subway. I might go grocery shopping first, it's a little early. <laughs> 3.12. <laughs> anyway, I don't blame them at all. Uh, miscommunication. Total miscommunication. Um, so, that's fine. They're good people in there, I don't mind. So I'm at my favorite place here. Uh, poor woman here, her battery had died. Hold on, I'm just filming this. I just happened to have my Echo Boost Plus on me. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. She tried boosting it with uh, with another car and it didn't work. But these guys, they they packed some power in them. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and she's offered me a free sub since she works here. <laughs> you gonna let her run for a bit? Yeah. Good idea. Come on in, I'll get you some. You wanna fix your door here? Oh yeah, I guess better put the window up, eh? Put the, yeah, let's do something. Oh, I see. You couldn't put the window up. Got it. All right, we'll see you inside. So Ray called me while I was in the grocery store, actually, and said, Hey, do you want to pick up that thing tomorrow? I said, yeah, sure. He said, okay, well, come out tonight. I said, oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> but um, uh, he had a light to change on, a, on the trailer that he's borrowing, so uh, he called me back and said, uh, yeah, i got to do this work, and then, you know, the roads are really bad. And I said, yeah. I don't know what the, what it's doing now. Is it like hail or frozen snow? I'm not sure. It's nasty out here now. And there's this slush is building up on the road. Anyway, I decided to wait till tomorrow morning and come out. Uh, yep. I uh, had a lovely time with Dale's wife, Anne Marie, in the grocery store. Yeah. Or is it Marianne? It's like snow now, but hard snow, like frozen snow. Things have gone from worse to, I don't know what comes after worse. I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> Log splitter or something, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm not getting as wet because thing, things are bouncing off of me. Yeah, I didn't have to come out today at all. This is like off-grid living, right? Yeah, I'm packing up my ATV for a 30 minute drive through the woods, through this crap, as it's getting dark. Yeah, loving every minute of it. And I will take this over bugs any day.
Well, today is the day. Uh, today is the day. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stay here. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you gotta stay here. Today's the day we bring in our new toy, the macro excavator. That's what I'm calling it. You gotta stay here. Oh. Somehow my fire was smoldering all night and the upstairs window was just open a crack. And so the cabin is full of smoke. I can smell it out here really badly. Where's the other dog, you might ask? <clears throat> Not far. Not far. But you gotta stay here. You can't come with us. There's no way I'm gonna be looking after you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I love you too. I do by making the face. All right. Let's try this again. Son of a... <clears throat> Let me do it, you know. Sit here all day doing that. And... <clears throat> yep, that might do it. I'll just leave it. It's like 3 Celsius. 4 Celsius? I don't know. 40, 40-ish Fahrenheit. <clears throat> you calling me out on that number? Are you? You calling me out on that number? Hi. Hi. Four Celsius, just shy, just shy of 40 Fahrenheit. Yeah, I think by the end of the day that'll be empty. I'm just, I'm, I'm putting it out there now. Crappy day for this, but let's go do it. Let's, come on, let's do this. Come on. Let's do this, Russell. Ray called me a little bit ago, so I gotta go meet him shortly. Uh, but I'm gonna, I gotta, this is my last chance to empty this, I'm sure, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. All that good water going down the drain, sort of, into the beaver pond, I guess. Oh well. are far from perfect it's uh this is, uh, it's not yesterday right it's not raining but there is a fine mist coming down <laughs> anyway, should be interesting I was gonna say maybe we should pick up a couple of two by eights uh, for, just for the trail. Oh, well, we can use these afterwards. Yeah, these are longer than I thought they were gonna be. Yeah. Um, it's just scrap stuff, so. Like, 
Yeah, yeah the I, challenge will be getting it on the trailer too, though. So uh, this obviously is not going to support two thousand pounds. So this comes off really easily. There's like ten things. We can take this off easily now. Well, those boards are long enough. We don't. We probably don't need to take it off. Maybe we can span it. I know. I was thinking that too. Or put something underneath it. If there's some blocks or something, we could like just support the center of it when we're driving it up. You're just worried you're going to break the thing in half. Yeah. Okay. It looks pretty strong. It does. But this is metal, right? <laughs> no, it's plastic. We think. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's tofu. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I, oh, I. The last time I wore it, too, I forgot that. The last time the lights didn't work, so I put these on. That was like about a year ago. I forgot to take them off. They're bicycle things, but, uh. <laughs> so yeah. you, so you. In an emergency, they work, though. Look at that. They still work. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I couldn't remember if I have a two-inch ball on my thing, but I guess I, I do. What kind of wuss doesn't have a two inch ball? Dude. What does that say? I can't read it. It's two inches, I can tell. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. He knows what two inches is. <laughs> Just by looking at it. <laughs> All right. Then you don't. We're going to swap because he doesn't think he can get his well, wimpy van actually, I down there. Down, down to the auction, but yeah, it's just, I just. No, I can I do it. Like front tires it's, all right. it's all right. It's all right. Your tires are far better than mine, so. All right, let's do it. Yeah, those are big ones. No. Yeah, those. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Four of those? I would say, yeah, okay, buy two packs of those, I'll give you four of those, yeah. Does that say $72? Only $72. Dollars? Oh my god. Are you sure we can't go with something smaller? <laughs> sure, you're the one driving it, so. So Russell forgot his ratchet straps on the oh, ATV. Okay. The MPO pulls I... you over, I'm just going to keep going, right? That, there's no way, I mean, we don't need straps that big. I mean, it's not like any, it's not like we're driving to, like, across the country. Like I said, the MTO pulls you over, I'm just gonna, I don't know that guy. <laughs> can't believe I just spent 150 bucks on ratchet straps. Four ratchet straps. <gasps> we're here again. <laughs> Keep coming back here for some reason. <sighs> I couldn't get an appointment before 3 p.m. So they're gonna, it's it's way before 3 p.m. It's like, what time is it, like one o'clock? Anyway, they're gonna see if they can accommodate me. Uh, Ray's picking up a door. So it's, um, it's a lot easier. He's picking up four doors. What do we got? Looks like a lot of stuff is already gone. So, finally getting my uh, new excavator. Here we are. Ray, I don't know. I, I don't think this will fit in the trailer, Ray. Try. Well, if the bucket sits on top of the car. Uh, yeah, we need a we need a second trailer. One, one for each. Uh, one for each track? Yeah. Yeah, that would. I could. I could dig some holes with that sucker. You watch me. Put a yellow vest on, a hard hat, and start digging over here, and they think you're supposed to be here. <laughs> Look at that guy working on his day off. <laughs> oh, we're just trenching in some services here. Looks like you just filled it. It just looks like you're digging random holes. Yeah, oh, there's services here, and there's pipe over there. Yep. Yep. We got to search for. It's an uh, untrained eye. It might look that way. We got to search for like burial. Think burial sites because uh, you don't want to be haunted for the rest of your life. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I guess that's gonna be okay. 
see me driving this thing. What's that? Let's check what tongue weight is. Oh, tongue weight. Okay. That's where I attached it. Okay. Another attachment. I'm not sure. Pretty So, yeah, we're pretty much the same group of wheels. Yep. Oh, I'm excited. Jerry can? Gas? Uh, like gas can and son of a bitch. Well, we can go to a gas station and just put it right in, right? Like, yeah, okay. Trying to find where to put the gas in here. You find it? Yep. Where? You're sitting on it. Now, what I'm really dismayed about, though, is uh, how do you check the oil? I see two oil filler things way down there, and I don't see a convenient way to get at them. Mm. Is this one of these things where you need like a, a scope camera just to be able to check your oil? No, it can't be right. No, it can't be right. There's got to be a way to. But you just happen to have a scope camera. Well, it's got to be the easier way to that. So it looks like to take off, off your roller protection, there's six bolts. Oh, sorry, eight, ten mm -hmm. bolts. Okay. Um, okay. That won't help very much, though, for, oil, for filling the oil. Um, not much in it. Thanks for that, Ray. Well, uh, one flat tire later, <laughs> look at look how dark it is out here. Tried to fix it, but it was not to be fixed. We tried to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got our needle and thread and tried to sew it. Russell's fault for not bringing enough duct tape. Uh, anyway, there's the new tire. <clears throat> not cheap, but uh, so we're not gonna try and take it in tonight. We're just gonna take it off the trailer so that Ray can take the trailer back. Are you walking in when you come back? <laughs> Guess I'm coming to get you, aren't I? We ain't come to bankrupt with me. Uh, I yeah, I should get in there and get them some outside time. Well, it's just we're not gonna get any work done tonight, so yeah. All right. Do <coughs> you know how? No. Uh, There's a disconnect there. There's some kind of. I was just gonna start pulling some buttons, pushing buttons, and. Your light turned off at just the perfect moment. I'm trying to chuckle. You have to, um... So we can't get the thing started. We spent an hour on this. We went to find some ether and the gas station didn't have any, but uh, all right, give her, give her a joke you, off. You have the key, don't you? Oh, I have the key. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that with me because somebody might come along and start it. Yeah, and just take <laughs> off with it, go tearing down the road with it. Uh, what did I do with it? There it is. Magic touch. I'd start, I I got I started once myself too. You started it twice, I think. I started it once. Alright. <clears throat> well that's it for today. So. Fuck. Okay, and we're back. Uh forgive the background noise. There's something going on out at the road. Um yeah, we so Ray uh bought some ether last night. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna start right away. This Good. 
It's this wonderful, this wonderful product. Where'd I put it? Right there. Ether. Sprayed it right in the, uh, the the air thingy. Oh, did you put the cap back on that? You didn't. Back on what? On the on the air filter on no, the air. No. Yeah. Just okay. got to shoot it down there and get us one. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I gotta get the key. Hold on. Okay. I th I think this is gonna start first try. I'm not even gonna use a choke. I'm I'm. Uh, throttle up a little bit here. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Oh. No, it's, it's in the on. Oh, what the hell? I can't get it up. Ray, I can Why won't they come up? It's frozen, I guess. There's all water in here. That's the part about having the tarp on top we were talking about. Might be the reason to do something like that. Should we hair dryer with you? No, because water's gotten down in here and it's all into the... Uh... Oh. Yeah, it's... It's probably frozen, frozen. Yeah, it's frozen, frozen. All right, well, Ether might let us start it without the uh, choke. <clears throat> really? This oh, is... Good, good. All right, okay. So, Ray's about to demonstrate the magic part here. Mm. It's like cocaine for your uh, motor. It'll fire anything up. Oh, lovely, lovely cocaine. Yeah, spray it right in there, Ray. Right in there, yeah. No, don't, oh, don't answer it. Oh. It might be important. Oh, okay. Look at this shit. I haven't even got it off the trailer. There's a rip in the seat. Like, just pulled the plastic off. Come on, man. This is bush league. Anyway, I'm gonna try and drive it a little bit here. Hold it there, Russell, hold it there, hold it there. 
So I just came to the realization that the tooth is fixed. There's no hydraulics on it. You can't move it up and down. I was looking for a control and... Yeah. Son of a... Ray is convinced that we need a... Uh... What are we calling this? Actually not, I don't know. A, a, it's like a crib, like a little... Uh... Thing to drive over. <clears throat> Something to drive over. Okay, you want to make these the... Thing the... length, yeah. No, I was going to say the, the width of the uh, the tracks. Roughly, yeah, roughly. <coughs> okay. Brought the, uh, wee! All right, so you want to cut these off? And the wee! Cut these off and move And how wide is There's a slow setting. Ray was trying to talk me through that last spot. I was driving it. I was like, no, Ray, I didn't. <laughs> he just knows the controls so much more naturally than me, you know, the whole sticks. A lot of the trail is uh, just like this, pretty easy going. There's gonna be like four or five really difficult spots. Um, those will be the challenge, and they're real challenges too. One thing I noticed while driving it, there's no suspension. <laughs> Every single tiny little rock gets transferred right into your spine. <laughs> so despite the fact that this is taking forever, Ray's still taking a few minutes to move some rocks that have always been a problem on the trail. Tried to move one back there, but the rock was like as big as a car, one of those iceberg things. But these ones are... Uh, This is stuff, I, I came out here with a crowbar once and tried to move a bunch of rocks and there weren't many that I could move just by myself, but this thing is beast. <laughs> Jesus, Ray. This thing is a beast, so we're gonna sit here and do some bestiality. No, I think I, I don't think that's right. Actually. We're gonna move some. <laughs> He's finding rocks that weren't even a problem.
stuck. Use the bucket. Use the bucket. He's gonna use the bucket. Or not. So this is uh, one of our big problems. This is nothing for the ATV to go through, uh, but Ray, <laughs> Ray doesn't want to go through there, and I, you know, I don't blame him after seeing the trouble that we've had on j even the simple spots. All her, our alternative is to find a new way through here somehow. I was thinking like straight through yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, hug those trees there. Yeah. Then when you get into, well, if you want to, yeah, you want to start taking out this little. Thing. Yeah. That's right. Really got that little mini chainsaw to help. Fine, fine, but you got this. 
I hate moving that thing. <laughs> it's so fucking heavy. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. Oh yeah. annoying. <laughs> we got to go back and grab that stupid thing.
spots where I thought if I, uh, <clears throat> if I was up the hill with the ETV I could kind of tie onto them make sure, at least make sure that that it doesn't tip over maybe with the winch wasn't pretty, but... Blade! <laughs> 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 
the... I've never liked this spot. You can jam it in there. It won't, well, it almost never falls out. Well, is there, is where my leg wants to be. Well, you're likely to fall out before it will. Yeah. yeah. It does need a seat belt. <laughs> Pardon? Is there a reason we're going backwards? Uh, the blade doesn't catch as much. Yeah. Well, it's just awkward. Like I'm, you know, it's. <laughs> instead of just. Well, turn around then. <laughs> it will turn. Spin it.
it's good. So it's coming on four o'clock and it's gonna get dark real soon. So um, I think I'm just gonna leave it here for tonight. Hmm? I'm gonna leave it here and take Ray back out to the road so he can go home. Yep. Great job, Ray. There's no way I could have done this by myself. <laughs> Watching you slide down here was like, oh my God. That was an easy one. That's surprising <laughs> that, you know, that, you know that big rock you crawl up over? Yeah. You just walked right up it. Yeah, it was pretty good. There was no problem. Well, you weren't there when that. This is when you weren't there. You just walked right up. Oh, you're talking about a different rock. Yeah, you know, that, that one, it's a big, kind of like that. Oh, okay, yeah. You just walked right up it. Cool. Well, it's nice and smooth there, anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's got the traction. But, um, yeah, just all these rocks. You get caught in everything. Yep. Well, we got some trail maintenance to do. All right, let's see if we can get a uh, mm -hmm. thumbnail. Look serious. Mm -hmm. Look serious. Just in case you were wondering if City Girl would ever be back to the cabin, here she is. Here I am. <laughs> and it's her birthday today. <gasps> yeah. Happy birthday. So we're going for sushi. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Obviously, I still have to bring the Mini X the rest of the way into the cabin. It's about three quarters of the way in now, uh, which I should be doing a little bit of that today. Good luck. Which means you get to drive the ATV. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> well, I don't often get to drive the ATV, so that'll be good. Yeah. Good practice. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace out.